Hello nieces, hello nephews, it's your Uncle Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we do unbiased price action analysis guys. Just want to give you guys a quick update, I don't want to take up too much of your time. But here we got a nice pattern forming, this is the descending triangle pattern right here, okay guys. Uh, for tomorrow, for Tuesday tomorrow, breakout will be around 412.4ish with breakdown level still at that critical 410 level okay so 410 to 412.5.4 ish would be the chop zone or chop range of this uh descending triangle pattern okay now we look on a 15 minute chart we can see the descending triangle pattern still and today we had a strong rejection from it still couldn't break down that 410 level and at the end of the day we closed just below it today okay guys so remember the breakout level for it tomorrow when market opens would be at 412.4 and breakdown level is at 410 okay if it opens above it if it gaps above it watch for it to be tested as a support and see if there's buying pressure if it breaks back below it okay that's that's not a breakout that's a false breakout if you're a bear you want to watch see if it breaks down 410 short the breakdown of 410 guys all right and if you're long, if you're a bull, you want to long the breakout of this pattern, which would be 412.4. Okay, remember above that level, I got 413.5 is with 415 above it. All right, and 417 and 418.3 February high. We play it level to level on Uncle Charles' channel. I long the breakouts of resistance. I can't give you guys a prediction because I don't know what's going to happen in the market. I give you guys these levels and trade setups so we can react in real time. Okay, we short the breakouts of resistance, so above 412.4, stay bullish, look to long, okay, watch the next resistance level, alright, below 412.4 and above 410 is the chop range, okay, that's a chop range, stay in scalp mode if we're in the chop range, we got some earnings tomorrow with Google and Microsoft after market, so hopefully sometime this week we can break out this chop range, okay, but remember below 410, you can swing shorts, swing shorts below 410. Triple Q, we got it in this channel, this downward channel right here, okay? Breakout levels at 317, all right? I, I still got 315.5 as support in the critical. We got a lot of buying pressure from this level around 313.2 is. That's the Fibonacci level. And the support of this down channel is at 312.6, okay? Short the breakdowns of support. All right, if one of these support that I mentioned with 311 and, and gap fill at 3 is at 307.5 ish in play, okay? Level to level. But if we break out of this channel above 317, look to long, guys. Look to long with 319 and 321 ish. 321 to 321.5 ish in play, all right? IWM still bouncing off 176.5, all right? But the bounces are getting weaker. I have this green downtrend channel right here. Maybe it'll test it tomorrow. At 178.5, maybe it'll reject. But one thing I've been saying all week, and I will say again, short the breakdown of 176.5. It needs to close below end of day to be bull, uh, bearish. To be bullish, it needs to break above 178.5. So look to long above 178.5 with 181 in play in higher targets, okay? Tesla is still basing, still chopping, all right? Chop range is 166 to 159.7. 159.7 was the 50% FIB level that tested today. So now that we got a bounce, Bull's going to need to clear some resistance, get above 166 and 170. Maybe I'll be short-term bullish and favor a gap fill up to 177.5-ish, all right? But if we continue basing, um, I want to see it stay below 164 and break down 159.7 to trigger more downside. We still have that gap fill at 144-ish. Look like a beautiful, potential beautiful move to the downside, all right? Apple bounced off the 20 daily moving average today. Bulls need to show follow through tomorrow. Clear that resistance at 165.5, possibly go test 167 and 170, all right? I would look to short if that 20 daily moving average fail as support, it's around 163.7. It'll probably move up to 164 tomorrow. And of course, that purple trend line, which is around 163.2-ish for tomorrow, okay? Below 163.2-ish, that is when I would look to be bearish, okay? It's not a prediction. I don't know if it's going to drop. But if it did drop that low 
and break down at support level, I would get bearish. All right, clearing 165.5 would be a good follow through for bulls to put in, like I said, 167 and 170 in play. All right, DXY, strong rejection from the 20 daily moving average today. All right, 20 daily moving average at 101.9. If you want to be bullish, got to recapture the 20 daily moving average. I will look too long if that recaptures. But as of right now, it's looking bearish and will probably drop back down to 100.8, maybe lower if that fails down to 100. Point, yeah, 100. Okay? So bullish above the 20 daily moving average, bearish above the 20 daily moving average. I give you guys the bull case scenario and the bear case scenario because these aren't predictions. It's about being prepared, being prepared and trying to get our PL green. And the VIX, once again, is still closing below that 17 support level. But I'll give you a little context here. This pink trend line that's around the 18.5 level. We've seen many times how it acted as support. All right. We got very close to back testing and getting some selling pressure there. All right. So overall, VIX is still looking bearish. All right. If you want to get bullish, uh, recapture 18.5 and, re and break out this, uh, this blue down trend line. We had a couple of tests of it. Resistance at 19.5, break above 19.5 would uh, change my sentiment for VIX a little bit, okay? Now, here is the uh, dark pool. We had 2.6 billion in premium around the 412 level. So, add that level to your chart, label it dark pool level because there was a lot of activity around that level. So, if it can stay above, bullish. If it get below, maybe it's bearish based on the dark pool or it's not based on Uncle's uh, price action analysis, okay? Now, we go to option flow filter for 500k premiums or above all right 50 50 today okay flows are 50 50 cut in half for spy triple q not very helpful when it's 50 50 97 percent in the puts for triple q all right the flows are showing bearish all right i'm just showing it however you want to interpret is up to you if you're bullish you see this you're probably going to say it's just hedges if you're bearish you see this you're probably going to be happy Okay, I'm just, you know, I'm just reporting it. That's what it shows. IWM, 65% in the puts. Still getting a lot of those block orders, probably hedges. They're in the money puts. Tesla, still getting a lot of in the money puts, probably hedges. 92% in the puts. Hedges, probably. Apple, 65% in the puts. A lot of sweep orders. Okay, some are in the money. Uh, these are calls, calls, calls. All right, the one, the big one is the 165 strike from May 19th, over 6,000 in size, 2.8 million in premium. All right, and VIX. And there's the VIX, 57% in the puts. All right, all split orders though, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this vid video helpful. If you want more content from Uncle Charles, please consider joining my Discord. Other than that, have a great evening. Peace.